Right guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today we are looking at Thirsty and what jumped out at me is the use of the green tones and the blue tones as well as a lot of dark space and a lot of contrast, a lot of clarity and an overall very moody image and I encourage you to all go give them a follow and let's not waste any time and get over into Lightroom. Right guys, in Lightroom and getting straight into it down bring the exposure up a little, contrast up a lot, highlights are coming down, shadows right up, whites down a little and blacks are coming right down. Clarity is coming up and our image is looking pretty terrible at the moment, but hold on, saturation down and your basic S curve, bringing up the blacks a little. And maybe bringing down the whites just a tad. Bit of contrast in the midtones. And moving on. So we're going to go straight to split toning, as I think it's almost more important than well, it will help us get our HSL after this, our colors after we've done our split tone. So we need a lot of blue in the highlights. A little, I like 215. I always use 215. I can't. And we're going to bring saturation up. Shadows, a lot of blue in the shadows as well. makes a very big effect and now we should be able to get our colors right so starting with we're going to come down to yellows greens down a bit and down to saturation so we're going to bring yellows down yellows actually play a really big part in this color grade, even though you wouldn't think so. Greens are coming all the way down to 70. Down to 80. And luminance. So yellows are coming up. And yellows are pretty much affecting the edges of everything. So really gives the pop even though there's not many yellow colors and the greens are going to come down to get a deeper almost moodier green look blues are going to come up And we've done split toning, sharpening, just leave it, I'm going to leave it right down. I'm going to enable profile corrections. And I'm going to leave vignetting, he does use vignetting sometimes. And some anim images it will work very well with this color grade as it's quite moody. But I'm going to leave it off for now. And grain, I'm going to leave it zero and that is it. So. Now, as we can see, he quite often has this sort of look to his sky, and he's really brought out the detail of the mountain as that's the main subject, and we should do the same in our one. So, going to get a grad graduated filter, and sometimes when you grab a filter, it's got all these numbers all down here, and to reset this, push Alt, and hit this here, reset, so much quicker than zeroing everything out. And now, we just want to add, so it's going to affect 
our mountain and sky and we just want to maybe bring down the exposure do things like bring down the blacks maybe bring up the whites just creating a lot of contrast in the mountain shadows we can bring down the clarity will really pop dehaze will really make a big effect and yeah there's a bunch of things you could do to really make the mountain pop our whites are probably too strong as they're just blending into the sky so we're going to bring our whites down Highlights up, lights down, just playing around a bit, and I'm going to leave it as that. Close, and I think we've got a pretty similar image there. And now I'm going to save it as a LUT at Thirsty, and no exposure, no no filters could do profile corrections if you wanted but I'm not and create I've already got one there but I've just replaced it and now I'm gonna move on to our next image it's gonna be this waterfall so let's find our image and let's find our LUT and this is what we've got exposure quite a bit and you see what's different from our last image we're just looking super super contrasty and stuff and the only thing you have to change to fix all of this is clarity so we're going to bring clarity right down so in harsh sunlight conditions you really want to bring your clarity down and then when you have a sort of really soft image like we had before so this would have been no direct harsh sunlight were, was hitting these trees but on the image we're working on now there's a lot of harsh light falling on the trees so we needed to bring our clarity right down and you could still argue that it's still too much but that's all you have to change and it's looking much much better and there's a few other things I could I could bring it down some more I'm going to leave it at 10 though because I feel like that will work better across other images. I think that's looking good and then what I'd do, our waterfall was very blown out so I would come up here, get the brush, bracket key to adjust the size, brush over the waterfall and I'm going to play around with these, bring down the exposure a little really bring down those highlights maybe yeah. bring up the contrast bring down the shadows dehaze and we get back some of that detail in the waterfall bring down our, bring down our whites right down but I quite like this mist down here, so I'm going to try to create another one. Just paint over this mist. I'm actually going to up the highlights, the whites. And I think that image is looking pretty good. We could play around a bit with it. We could do quite a bit of dodging and burning. So dodging and burning is just really where you want the contrast. So at the moment this waterfall is really framed within these trees so you could just add to the framing so maybe darker here darker down here darker up there darker here just bring down the exposure but 
not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go done. And I think that's looking really good. So next image, actually we're going to save this one as a LUT. And it's going to be... Destiny 2. Clarity. So that's going to be... This one's going to be when there's half sunlight, so we have less clarity and it look much better. Great, and moving on to our next image, he does have quite a few snow shots. So we're going to work with this one, and we're going to do this image. So, right. Let's find our preset. I'm going to go with gonna go with our second one that has less clarity and we're looking all right but you see this image is really blue so I'm gonna come down and add more blue into much more blue into the highlights and more blue into the shadows and I'm gonna come up and something pretty close but something's not quite there so I'm gonna move the tint over to the greens and we get this much nicer much nicer bluey green to the water and we get a very similar blue cast to the entire image and before and after looks really good and we're going to do one more image reference image and our image we're gonna do this one now our image is a little blown out so if we try to expose for our trees, too blown out. So it's going to leave exposure where it is. And we're going to use a little filter to go over our tree. It's going to really try to... So we're going to have to bring up the clarity. exposure really drop the blacks maybe not bring up the shadows contrast clarity some more and I think that's looking pretty good Might need a little saturation. Done. And we're looking. We're, we're not going to get the same colours in the water as this is too much light on top of the water. And he has a real haze, just a, a really harsh line haze going halfway over his trees. So we're going to do a radial filter, drag it down and we want to make it quite quite harsh so we come down to dehaze bring the haze and we're really really blown out up here so we're going to drop our whites a little I think that's looking very good. So go back to our very first image and we compared it to this one. 
zoom in before after and then we looked at the waterfall before before after and we made that one into a lot as well and then we looked at the snow before after a lot of blue for the snow and I'm gonna make that one into a lot as well after and then we did this one and this one before after and just to show you the what we did let's apply that was our first lot very moody dark blacks good greens that was our extra clarity no less clarity it's our snow one here's it on another image so it's extra clarity less clarity and the snow one is not really meant for that image here's another image our first one I can see this is a very very harsh light so we want to use our one with less clarity and it's still too much clarity because it's so harsh so I'm going to bring that clarity even more in the exposure and then it's looking much better maybe bring the clarity it looks much much better and here's another snow one let's apply our snow it's, it's got a lot of venuting so let's profile correction before after here's that snow image of his very blue looks really really good and I'm gonna leave it there guys so thanks again for watching and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see and yeah that's it see you later